Orlando Perez is serious about a prolific um, Kenyan striker. So there's this striker that Orlando Perez uh, have shown some interest uh, from Kenya. So now Orlando Perez uh, last season was trying to persuade the striker so that they can come and buy him so that he joins them. But it seems like along the way because um, they lost focus uh, in what was happening in managing their games and in wanting to sign new strikers from different places. So they ended up losing sight to this uh, player that they wanted to sign from Kenya. So now it seems like um, they are back at the table, they want a striker back, they want to buy him, so they are negotiating. Please, before you continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And remember, it is free of charge and you'll be supporting our channel so that you'll be getting the latest trends, the latest news and what is happening in the world of soccer. Orlando Pirates were linked with Kenyan striker Benson Omala, but that interest uh, quieted uh, down in the recent months. Uh, CS sources have now indicated that the Net Bank Cup and MTN 8 Cup champions are possibly back in the race to sign the Kenyan. The source added that Pirates may not be totally satisfied with the list of strikers they already have, and that is why they have revisited the possibility of looking at Omala. When they examining Park's performances during the preseason camp in Spain, they could have decided that they need an outright striker who can also be useful when playing away in Africa, someone who can adapt to foreign conditions in difficult CAF Champions League fixtures. They feel that they need a striker, a striker that will help them when they go into Africa, said Sia Sosa. They have gone back to inquire about Kenyan striker Benson Omala, whom they have wanted before. This time it's serious and things could happen before the registration window closes. They are serious about him. Go Mahia with the title as he scored 26 goals. He was only beaten by Kenyan police striker Elvis Rupia, who scored 27 goals to the top goal scorer of the season award. When contacted for comment, Go Mahia chairman Ambrosius Riches could neither deny nor confirm the link. Let's not talk now. I don't want to spoil things. We will give his agent the time to tell us what's going on and we will take it from there. Retired Orlando Pirates hitman Bruce Ramahudi believes the striker Zakele Lipasa didn't want to return to play for the club under coach Jose Rivero. Ramahudi believes the Rivero and the club are now forced to give the Soweto born striker Lipasa an opportunity to prove his worth next season. Despite his sentiments, the legends look at how Lipasa bid farewell to Super Sport United when his loan stint from Pirates came to an end last season. Striker Lipasa didn't want to play under Rivero. The 1995 Cape Championships League winner with Pirate says Lipasa showed his quality when he was on loan at Supersport in the last term despite the lack of game time under Rivero. Lipasa played a crucial role in the Koji Governor Hans push to finish dead in the DSTV Premiership as they qualified for the Confederation Cup. At the same time, Lipasa was also instrumental for Bafana Bafana coach Hugo Bros. Men as they booked the spot on the upcoming African Cup of Nations tournament in Cote d'Ivoire, said Ramokhadi to Isolezwe. He shows he didn't want to return to Paris, but he is bound by his contract. I am aware that there is an overseas club that wanted to sign him, but things didn't work out. That is why I don't doubt that Paris are forced to play him but also depends on Zakel. Following the end of his short stint with Mazatan Zapidori, Lipasa penned an emotional farewell message to the club, indicating he wanted to stay longer. This is one day I never looked forward to, said Lipasa on Twitter. Having officially said goodbye to what has become a home, I've spent so much time with great people that welcomed me and made it easy for me to play. I won't forget the opportunity I was given. Thank you, Super Sport FC. Striker Lipasa to leave for Europe. The South African reported last month that Lipasa had caught the attention of international clubs. It was reported that Lipasa's work rate impressed.
the number of international squads. So Kala Duma now understands the Bafana Bafana International, who has scored in his last two appearances for the national team, has been put on the radar of a few interested satyrs overseas, read the report. But the stumbling block here is where the Pirates will agree to sell if there's a genuine offer tabled in the coming months before the window slams shut in August.